I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 11 in my book, Fishing the Bucktail, and the book covers bucktailing for a variety of species from surf, kayak, and boat. This is how I tie a rig for light tackle fluke bucktailing. I'm using some heavier lines so we can see it easier. I start with a loop at the bottom for the bucktail. About 12 inches above that, I'll tie a dropper loop. And you could go online and, and see plenty of good demonstrations for tying a dropper loop. It's pretty simple. Make a couple of twists. I normally use 20 pound test fluorocarbon, so I'd be making about five or six twists. I grab it with uh, my mouth there so I can pull on both sides. And that's the loop. So now let's take a look at this with uh, 50 pound monofilament. And again, this is uh, heavier than what I normally use, although uh, this would be fine for some heavier tackle. I use that bottom loop to thread through the bucktail eye and then over the bucktail and this allows me to change bucktails without having to tie any other knots or use any hardware. I then push the loop end of the dropper loop through the eye of the hook and then bring that loop um, over the shank of the hook and um, make another twist and go over one more time. Now that hook is secured on the loop. And there's the complete rig. And again, this is heavier than what I normally use, but I want to go a little heavier here because it shows up better on the video. This is one of the rigs I use. It's tied with 20 pound test fluorocarbon. The bucktail is a one ounce spro type of bucktail. It's actually a homemade, but it's very similar to a spro. The hook that's on the dropper loop is a 3.0 Gamagatsu bait saver hook. I'm threading on a 4 inch Berkeley Gulp Alive swimming mullet, uh, obviously green. If you had uh, everything in white, that would be just fine. And adding a second swimming mullet to the dropper hook. And now that rig's complete. And we're ready to take it out and do some fishing. This is Long Island Sound, about 20 feet of water. And uh, what I'm doing is uh, a rapid vertical jigging. The uh, line is almost straight up and down, maybe a slight angle out. The objective is to use as light a weight uh, bucktail as possible, to, but still be able to stay down without having to let line out. I'm fishing on a 19 inch minimum size limit here, so this is uh, clearly a short. I'm getting the net ready here because I know this area pretty well and uh, it has a habit of producing some pretty nice fish, so I want to make sure that net is, is readily available. I'm using a 6 foot quantum rod rated 8 to 17 pound test line, a quantum accurate bait casting reel. I'm using 15 pound test braided line for the main line, and the rig you just saw tied, that's 20 pound test fluorocarbon. And you might notice that there are uh, no other boats visible in the area. I, I tend to try to stay away from the pack a little bit. I don't see the point in drifting in areas where dozens of boats are raking over the bottom. And uh, this usually tends to work out well for me.
And this fish measured out to 26 inches, about six and a half pounds. I hope you found this useful, and on my YouTube channel, there are several other more detailed fluke videos. The only thing in its stomach was a pair of six-inch mantis shrimps.